You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Maya, she a baller, but she's still a girly girl. Took about two hours to get ready, but very excited, ready to go. About to head out this door, about to catch the light rail. Riding the light rail on our way, on the freeway, 430. I've never rode the light rail out here. It's like their version of Bark. It's only like a couple years old. Um, so we're gonna go over there so you know your boy can have a few beers and be safe on, uh, what is it, St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, we on our way to the light rail. That's our next touchdown. Mini Alchemy, we're just here. We got our passes, our little Metro passes. We're down here in downtown Mesa and uh, we're getting ready to ride this light rail into Phoenix. We got the driver getting, you know, getting ready. Calisthenics, stretching. We gotta get the hammies loose for the, for the ride. Um, but yeah, just got on the light rail. It smells like a light rail. But uh, yeah, Warriors fans already out in Mesa. Three point line, I was just told. That's, you know, it, this. I don't know about this game. I don't know. I don't know if y'all saw Marquise Chris and Jared Dudley trying to give Ricky Rubio the business last night, man. Uh, you know, so it could be a dangerous game. The Suns are in their feelings because they get embarrassed on a nightly basis. Station, Veterans Way and College Avenue, ASU Sun Devil Stadium, exit to left. All right, we downtown. I don't, know, I don't know where we going, but we downtown. Perfect day though, perfect day. A lot of green in the air. People are gonna be wild because it's St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's drinking. Like that guy on the train next to us, he was just wasted. He probably been drinking since 10 this morning. I had to shut him down. Anyway, we're about an hour early, but you know, I don't know. I don't think I don't think any of the I don't think any of the three All Stars traveled. So I think we're gonna have to maybe try to catch Kavon Looney in the outskirts with a cucumber, with a cucumber. Kavon Looney with a cucumber. But I cannot complain about the weather. But downtown is, is about to be litty. A lot of construction always here. This used to be a parking lot. This used to be the spot that overcharge you. Here, the whining pig. <laughs> See, out here in Arizona, man, they can you can sell tickets, you can scalp tickets. It's not illegal. Remember, in the, remember in the in the bay, y'all would go to across from the BART. You go across to the BART station and get them, and then you go across the bridge at, at Oracle or at the Coliseum. Here, you could just buy them out. You know, just buy them out here in the public. It ain't no thing. So. This is a nice little center here, very modern. Tournament going. Yeah, the light rail, the light rail is the way to go. We don't got to park and we just cruise right on up to the arena. I think we're in for a game, though. I think, I think back into a back-to-back. -back. Quinn Cook coming off. Coming off 40 minutes, Draymond, Draymond's wrist tired from putting up to nine threes, so we litty. Very easy access downtown arena.
catch this? Should we catch this across the street now? Let's go. Come on. Let's boogie. Why do they have printed ones? A lot of Warrior fans. We probably have a 80-20, a 80-20 ratio when the team's doing this poorly. <laughs> As you see more scalpers, D-book. Is your dad? Dad is like, why do all the tickets? Hopefully dude comes through so we ain't got to buy no scalpers. Watch where you're walking, you might hit a pole. You're definitely documenting that. Yeah, we're here with plenty of time. Huh? What's that? Tilted Kilt. That looks like a lively area, man. The nightlife downtown is dope because you can come right out of the arena and just, just hit everywhere. And there's bars and everything. So it's a pretty nice little setup. You see dub fans everywhere. This is kind of the facade of Talking Stick Arena here where, you know, they have all sorts of events. I've been out here a lot of times. It's pretty smooth. Um, you see the dub fans getting ready everywhere. They're coming out the woodwork. We ready though. We ready. What we got over here? They have the hoop. Where's the hoop? Is the hoop somewhere? Oh, there we go. So let's let's ball. Let's go ball. <laughs> they setting it up for games. We need to go take somebody's ankles. All right, we here walking around. It's about 5:30. Uh, I'm I'm guessing the ratio of fans here is probably 80, 80 Warriors, 20 Suns. But that's what it is when when it's you know. When the Suns are that bad, but I, th I think they might lose. If you look at the, the line, it's moved down to like three. Mind you, Quinn Cook played 40 minutes last night. Draymond Green's elbow is probably sore from hoisting nine threes from well out of his range, right? And so the Suns team feels some type of way, obviously coming off that scuffle in Utah. I don't think Marquise Chris or Dudley was suspended. They were definitely fined, and it could be a dangerous game. I'm kind of glad the, the, the Stars are not playing just because these dudes are in their feelings. They ain't playing for no, no playoff standing, so they may just, you know, take a hard foul. Jordan Bell, watch yourself because, obviously, Chris, Chris, Chris is an immature young cat. All right, Amaya, you're at your what, second Warrior game? Yeah. Okay. So, St. Patrick's Day. Um, who are you looking forward to seeing? You gotta speak up. Nick Young. Oh, Swaggy. Jordan. Saggy P. Jordan Bell. Uh, one of, maybe one of the rookies. Okay. And maybe Chris Bo Bobby Boucher get in there. And uh, Draymond. Okay. Okay. What do you think of the uh, the arena and atmosphere? It's really nice. Really nice. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. My guy Chad hooking me up with the tickets. You know. You know. They it love. Is. You know. It is. No Warriors? No Warriors? Uh-huh. No Warriors, right? Tickets, guys. Tickets, tickets. No Warriors, right? No, definitely with them. Put that sunshirt on. Put that sunshirt on for sure. Warriors! Warriors! Oh, we're a little early. We're a little early for that. We're a little early for that. It's no fun when there's no fight, though. There's, it's no fun when there's no fight. Hey, we need no fun right <laughs> yeah, now, right? Yeah. Oh, we should see if we can get up some jumpers. Get a dunk. Let's see. Let's see a dunk, young oh, man. <laughs> Bro, with my with my, uh, with my my Curry Under Armour's on. <laughs> I got ankle protection. We out here. We out here. Use the left hand. Use the left hand. <laughs> you ready? You excited? Guys, Warriors, let's go. Who's gonna go off tonight? Who do you think is gonna make the biggest points tonight? Who do you think? Swaggy. Oh, he's got a bowling jersey on. I like Swaggy. it. Let's go. I like it. Let's go. I like it. Let's go. Hey, I'm gonna say Cook. All right. Oh, okay. Young. I say Cook. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, here. I'm tight. They got pretty good energy for such a bad team. They got pretty good energy for a bad team. We out here. Your boy out. 
I don't think y'all can hear me, but I'm trying to do this vlog and shit. I'm trying to bring y'all some entertainment. It smells good. You see David West. David West doing his thing. Warming up, jumpers, right at his money spot. Let go. All right, y'all, here's the situation. My boy Chad, very grateful for the hookup, but what we're in is a lounge. Take a look. We can't get past that ball right there to see the actual game. So we're watching the game. I'm good. I'm at the arena, you know, but we ain't actually watching the game. We out here. I don't know if y'all can see the damn score, but nobody wants to shoot the damn ball. Someone needs to put it up. You want Draymond to shoot 10 threes? I don't think so. Someone needs to shoot the damn ball. Sun's running away with this thing, and I'm not surprised. All right, y'all. It's halftime of the game. I apologize, man. It's been Liddy. Your boy's having a good time. I don't have the best view. And, you know, I'm socializing and, and doing my thing, man. But from what I see is they just, they really don't care. You got the Suns. You got a lot of guys fighting for their NBA career. So they're playing hard. And the shots aren't dropping, but there's some hesitation. There's a real lack of effort as far as, like, rhythm and speed. You saw JaVale off the roll. Feeding David West against Dudley, that's not the matchup. Um, I saw the technical and a little bit of dust up. The Suns are a desperate team. And they have nothing to lose, so that can be dangerous. The question is, how bad does Iguodala, David West, Draymond Green want this game in the second half? Are they going to fire up the young bucks, bucks and show some fight? Or are they just going to roll over and head to Scottsdale for the party? I, appreciate I, I never give right. up, ever. Right? I got my over there finally in a spot where she can see oh, the game. So, 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 Very so, so, Draymond's fighting. Warriors look like they're going to come back. Let's go. You see the score now. They're showing some pride. 69-68. Couple threes. Iguodala, Draymond, the veterans leading the way. And, you know, honestly, I I'm impressed because I thought they were going to roll over dead in the desert. You get loud now. Your boys going to be getting loud now. Don't get loud now. Don't get loud now. We got a long way to go, baby. Warriors came out. They showed that fight. What do we got? We got one minute, 20 seconds in the third quarter. And we good. We got that fight. Phoenix don't want no smoke. Phoenix don't want no smoke. They don't want no smoke. Believe that. Phoenix don't want no smoke, but we good. So they got the fight, so I'm confident. Come back. Very good. Come back. Come Josh Jackson, I'm impressed with man. It's surely volume, though. How many shots is he on? How many shots is he on? Oh, that ain't bad at all. Wow, that's game right there. Let's go. Let's go. Dubs with an epic, an epic performance with that energy, man. I gotta shot him out with that energy, bro. Whoa! No, yeah, that's, that's, that's it doesn't like it being great. Wow. Wow. Wow, Ken. Wow. Put him away, boy. Put him away, boy. All right, we got that dub. We got that dub. Let's go. The comeback, it was your good luck. Amaya's on that NBA jam after the game. Warriors handle and their shit. Who is that? Is that Dennis Rodman? You got Rodman and Ku Coach? It's Rodman and Ku Coach versus Rodman and Ku Coach? I don't need to see two Rodmans, goddamn. Hold up. Tony. Tony takes a big shift before the game. It does, man. This was a great win. I got to see the second half of the game. It was dope. I don't know how this is going to piece together, man, but I'm trying to get y'all the vlog. Yeah, dude. Walking through the halls now. Waiting at the G Lounge for Amaya to get up out the restroom, man. And it was, it was just a dope. It was a dope victory, man. I didn't get the greatest view. 
I didn't get the greatest. Oh, right now. <laughs> There's my guy Chad, man. He hooked us up with the tank, the tickets, man. And, and I got mad love. I got mad bay love, man. You see the, you see the Curry. He's stunting. We doing our thing, man. And it was a great night, man. It was a great night. It was night. a good night. A win with the the secondaries. Exactly. All right. I apologize, y'all. I didn't get. I didn't get the full impact of the game being here. I was live, the crowd, I was talking shit to the Suns fans. Quinn Cook, Kavon Looney, the young boys stepped up, but you could tell they were led by David West, Igadala. The veterans really, you know, put their stamp on the second half and let them know like, yo, we want this game. Showed some pride. I was impressed with Josh Jackson as well. I think we're going out this way. We're going out this way, Amaya. But I was impressed, I was impressed with some of the fight from the young Suns. But ultimately, the championship DNA showed through Kavon Looney. Quinn Cook had himself a night. Quinn Cook, Omri Caspi, you finna give up that spot. We walking out of the uh, talking stick arena right now. Anyway, I'm gonna patch this together. I might have one more check for y'all on the way out. And then they'll chill out, probably golf in San Antonio and play Monday night. But this was a, so I think we're gonna go straight ahead. This was a tremendous night, man. Tremendous game. Again, I apologize to y'all for not having like the alchemy type details, but you have to appreciate it. I was at the game with very limited viewing, but we're walking to the light rail right now. Me and Minnie out, we doing our thing. And uh, I'm just impressed with the youngsters. Quinn Cook, Kavon Looney, Jordan Bell stepping up. I think I want to give credit to David West, Iguodala, and Draymond because I think they set the tone. I think they let the young boys know like, Look, we want this game. This ain't a joke. We can't let these clowns win this game. But I think that ultimately it was a very, uh, it was a very cohesive win and built some camaraderie amongst the non-stars of this championship caliber team. Moving forward, San Antonio Monday. Um, can Quinn Cook keep this up? I think it's all but done that uh, Omar Omri Caspi is going to be waived. Quinn Cook has earned himself a spot in the, and look at, look at all the Warrior fans, man. The Warrior fans are on hit right now, and I'll, I'm not trying to be racist, but the, the Asians and, and, and Eastern, Eastern, Middle, the, the East, the Islanders, I believe, like, yo, you probably bay, right? But a lot of these cats, a lot of these cats out here, little kids and shit, they're just like, KD, stop Curry, KD. So, you know, there's a lot of fakers, and then there's some real riders. But I just think ultimately it was a great game. I'm impressed with Josh Jackson. What do you have, like 34, 36 points? You saw the swagger. I had a video, a scouting report video of him this summer in his summer league. And, and one thing that was very immediate and apparent was his swagger. His confidence will not falter, and that's something that can't be taught. So I was impressed with that, man. Overall, great night, great experience. Nick Young. The absolutely dies on plays. I know he had a good offensive output, but he absolutely dies on plays after either post play or like like they so like let's say he moves he passes the ball or the ball's blocked or he misses the shot. Like if you watch his body language post after he has the ball, whether it's good or bad, he basically dies on the play. He doesn't have enough activity and intensity for playoff basketball. That's what I question and that's what I worry about. Kavon Looney stepped up. Quinn Cook coming for that spot. I've already mentioned that. And overall, man, I'm just very proud of the young boys and the camaraderie that was formed minus the three. So what was uh, what, what, what struck you like, like as on the court? Like being there, hearing it live? Uh, like realizing that like Draymond and like they're actually in Arizona like because Arizona's like boring and stuff and having like NBA players here like in real life is like cool and fun. Anything like about like the speed or the size? I know we weren't that close, but I mean, like you know, anything strike you as, as like surprised you as far as like, oh, he's fast or he's slow or he sucks. Uh, <laughs> Queen Cook, he didn't look that small and and like person. He looked okay. like compared to the other players, he still looked smaller. But like when you just saw him, like a breakaway, mm -hmm. he didn't look that small in person. And. Um, they didn't look that fast. Like on, on TV, they, they looked faster like on breakaways, but they had more time. It's, it's a little slower live. Yeah. The play, the action. I agree with that. That's what's up.
get live a little bonus alchemy action for you. Station. Smith Martin and Apache Boulevard. Exit to left. <laughs> I was wondering when y'all was gonna check these. Y'all losing the grip of money. Uh, think yeah, so? yeah y'all losing. Y'all bank, man. I'm paying taxes on these bitches. No, Courtney, are you? Huh? No, Courtney, are you? What's the problem? I don't want to be recorded. Okay. Well, we in, we in public. No, you're actually in private property. Hitting out, little out, big out, we out. Yo, you seen, you seen, uh, you seen Metro Security trying to press your boy for recording his ass, man. You ain't no popo. I'm trying to get some world star shit. But anyway, uh, starting to lose my voice a little bit, man. But it was a very good night, man. I know I probably recapped and I'm a little bit all over the place. I apologize, but overall, man, it was a great experience for me. And the little one and the dubs pulling out the victory again shout out chad and his girl man really taking care of us very blessed and appreciative and i know one day i'll be able to return the favor so about 11 o'clock here arizona time man dubs with the win against the suns we heading back we in mesa we about to go home get some food and hit the bed that's it what are those oh heck no like you see the commercials like they have their face oh here yeah in the with them mm. Last stop of the night, the supermarket, Winco. We out here just getting snacks, chips. We about to go home, make some nachos or whatever. And you can hear I got the I got the OG voice because I damn near lost my voice screaming for Kavan, Bell, and them boys. But I'm getting kind of comfortable vlogging. I hope all this turns out well, man. You know, you got to cut your voice some slack, man. I ain't never done it like this and documented it. Sometimes I get caught in the moment. But once again, hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out, y'all.